Hello, welcome back to another guide from me, Zug, on Broadside Gaming. And today we're going to be talking about something slightly different. So I've done my build for what I am doing with uh, the Warrior Priest at the moment. But something people don't really talk about is the fact that because there's a new crew out, every motherfucker wants to play it. Which means you're not going to be able to get into a lot of groups with your chosen career, which would at the moment be the Warrior Priest. So I've been doing a lot of um, like solo legend and cata runs at the moment just to try it out, do some testing, try some breakpoints, you know, look at other people's builds and um, you know, just see what's what. And as always, I want to shout out to uh, Royale of Cheese, whose fucking write-ups on new careers and stuff are always top-notch and out before anyone else's, and they're usually completely spot on. So I can highly advise if you need a written guide or want to have a look at the numbers crunched, go look at Royale of Cheese's guides in the Steam community. Uh, they're fucking amazing. So, what do you do if you can't get into a group with the crew you want? Because everyone else is playing it. Well, you play solo. But you hit upon the point of the bots are fucking stupid. Which tends to happen all the time. So, I'm going to show you what I uh, run with. And I've had pretty good success, actually. It's uh, Only occasionally they will freak out and just all huddle in the corner while I get dragged off by a hook rat and uh, shot to pieces. So this is what I do with my bots. I take Prooper as the mercenary. Uh, I will usually give him a Howbeard or I'll give him maybe the Executioner Sword. I don't tend to give him the mace, anything finicky. It's usually the Howbeard or the Executioner Sword, possibly the Bretonian Longsword, but it's usually the Halbid. Um, I, I leave him just set up how I would if I was going to play him. So, sort of this talent set up. And with whatever gear you've got, if you've got him pumped out to max, then, you know, just chuck your best gear on him. If not, just give him the best you can. And I tend to go with the Halbid and the handgun, just so, especially if you're playing um, the Warrior Priest, you need the bots to be sniping for you because unless you've got a big stack of grenades or they're in a convenient place, you can't get to them. So I'd stick the Halbeard and the handgun on him. And next I run with my favorite bot, Bardin Bot. So Bardin Bot is something quite special for me because uh, he has saved my ass many, many times. He just seems to be a wrecking machine and he won't die. Unless he falls off of something, he will fall off of things continuously. I don't know why it's always him, but it's just it's always Barden Bot. He will fall off of everything. But with this setup, I've actually found a huge increase in his usefulness. So I give him the Axe and Shield and the Troll Hammer Torpedo. You might be thinking, why am I giving him a Troll Hammer Torpedo? when it's got such low ammunition. But he's a fucking sniper of this thing. Like, he really, really is. He can... He's an absolute surgeon with the fucking torpedo launcher. I don't know why, but he is. So, I go over the action shield and the troll hammer torpedo, and he just goes absolutely mental with it. And it's hilarious. So, we've got the Merc... The Iron Breaker, and lastly, Sister of Thorn. And I go Sister of Thorn mainly because, from what I found, the Waste Stalker is fucking useless and will never use her ultimate. The Handmaiden will use her ultimate all continuously and charge into mobs and die. The Shade will just explode. Like every 10 seconds, she will just die and she will eat all of your healing. Sister of Thorn is an absolute powerhouse of damage. She will normally out damage you on whatever career you're playing. She will get a decent 10% over you just because of she's ridiculously overpowered, to be honest. Even with the tweak to her um, Radiant Inheritance, it's just, it's just still stupid, and I love it. So this is the kind of, this is the talent setup I'd leave on. With, um, 
Marcus and Bardin doesn't really matter about that hands up. Just leave them however you'd play them. But for the Sister of Thorn, set her up like this. So Martial Blessing, Surge of Malice, Smiter, Radiant Inheritance, Moray Hegs, Doomsight, and Blood Razor Thicket. It's very important you take especially these three. You want her to be able to get vastly increased combat potency. You want her to have Moray Hegs Doomsight for the guaranteed critical strikes. And you want her to have you definitely want her to have Blood Razor Thicket. Because she will use this to snipe specials. And when she's got two stacks of her F ability, she will use this all the time, but she'll mostly only use it on specials. So special turns up, it's gone. She turns up, it's gone. So this is I really suggest you stick with what I've got here. So for her weapons, I leave her with the glaive, so she can pretty much deal with anything. She can deal with hordes, armor, whatever. And the javelin. Because for some reason, the bots know how to use the javelin properly. She will reload it continuously and she will use it. But with any other weapon, this it's it's hit or miss. It's really hit. She, she won't use the staff properly. And they don't use the Moonfire Bow very much at all. But the Javelin, it seems like they know exactly what they're doing with it. So, Glaive and Javelin. And pretty much with this setup, you should be good for soloing Legend and Cataclysm. Without too much trouble. Um, for any parts that require like coordination or teamwork... Then yeah, it's, it's it is it will be all up to you. You will have to do everything. Shut up, boss by. But for general composition and being able to progress through just through killing, this will be fine. But for anything that involves you like carrying barrels or doing things in a specific order, it's, they're bots. You know, you you get what you get with bots. They're idiots. They always have been. Always will be. But this is just to you know maximize your chance of success and i've been fine-tuning this for a very long time and i've come to find that this is the best setup for me and i highly suggest you never take sienna with you because none of them work properly unchained will explode all the time and get themselves killed and the other two just don't do anything useful Anyway, I hope this helps, and I hope that, you know you find some decent success running solo with this, and you actually get to play the Warrior Priest. But until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching. And if you have, if you have enjoyed the content so far, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. It does help us greatly, and I shall hopefully see you all next time. So see you later.